Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 113 after having gastric bypass surgery. If you watched the video yesterday, I had a job interview and I did not get it. I got an email this morning saying I didn't get it, which is very upsetting because it was the shift I wanted. 8 to 5, no weekends, full time, working in an office, you know, I think it was like $16 an hour, which is okay down here where I live. Not too bad. Very disappointing. Nothing new, but I am not going to dread over it. I'm just going to keep going because I'm not going to go back to the person I used to be, you know, not just really, really overweight, but I'm not going to be the negative Nancy about these kind of things. I'm just going to press forward and say, okay, then that's not the one I was supposed to have. Something else is waiting on me. But at the same time, you know, it's very frustrating. It really is. It's frustrating and very annoying because you feel like you're putting 110% in and you're not even getting 10% back. And it just really irritates you to death. It does me. Um, other than that, today um, I went grocery shopping. And something I noticed, um, I go grocery shopping and I don't even think about the things I usually would get before I had surgery, like, I always got, like, three or four bags of chips, some dipping, you know, like, chive dip, um, you know, whatever junk food I would get and bring it home, you know, mostly, like, chips and things like that, chips with some sauce or, like, Frank sauce or whatever, um, I don't get a bunch of junk food, I don't even think about it anymore, like, I'll go by the aisle and I'll, like, you know, read what's on the aisle in the description and I just you know I just go right past it I don't even think about oh chips you know I just see it says chips and I just keep walking I don't even look at it and say no I don't need that I just go and just keep going and that's really great because you know things like that are not good for you and I wish I was able to do that before surgery but hey I guess better late than never right uh today I'm gonna make some alfredo for my husband he's been wanting some um, I did have a protein shake and I had a blueberry granola bar today and I feel like I just had Thanksgiving, but it was good. It was something a little different. I just want to let you guys know that, um, there are times when we get frustrated and we want to eat or we want to smoke or we want to drink or we want to do whatever we need to do, but I want you to know that I know it's not easy. It's not easy to resist it because it's like the one thing that does not let you down. That's what you think. But eventually it does let you down because it destroys you one way or another. You know, you go out and drink. It might make you feel better for the moment, but you get drunk. You have a hangover. You lost money because you bought alcohol. Your breath stinks. You know, your clothes smell. You really actually lost in the end. You know, temporarily you're okay but in the long run you're not smoking you get irritated you go have a cigarette you might feel better for the moment but in the long run you're actually hurting yourself you know you just put nicotine in your body you're filling your lungs up with smoke you're increasing chances of getting cancer you lost money because cigarettes are not cheap you know and your breath stinks your hair smells your fingers smell so in the long run you really just damage yourself and it goes the same way as eating and I say that because, you know, I had a really bad eating problem that made me gain so much weight to where I could lose it on my own. So I had to have surgery to get rid of it. You're upset. You're sad. You're bored. You just got rejected. You found out your friends are making fun of you. You found out your friends aren't really your friend. You know, stuff's going on at home. Your boss is pissing you off and being irritating. Your coworkers aren't wanting to cooperate and work with you and get the job done. So after work or after school or at home, you just go eat a bunch of junk food. You go buy fast food. You buy your 52 ounce at the gas station like I always did for years. For a while, you're okay. But then in the long run, you just put a bunch of calories in your stomach. You filled yourself with sugar and oils and fat and grease and just junk food. Um, you're damaging your organs. You're putting more weight on your bones. So temporarily you're okay. But in the long run you hurt yourself. And that applies to me and a lot of people I know. You know I'm just being open about these things. But there's you know the time where you know you really need to fix it. And that's why I had surgery. Because I'm only 29 years old. And I had surgery at 29. I'm still 29 now. I'll be 30 in two months. 
And I was thinking, you know, just, man, I'm in my early 20s, mid 20s, late 20s, and man, I'm slowing down and my back kills me every day. I can barely lift up my child, pick her up from the shower or out of bed. I can't keep up with her and I just feel gross all the time and nothing fits. And when something does go on my body, it's ugly because they don't make nice clothes for fat people. Let's just be honest, they don't. So eventually I thought, okay, well, this is what I'm going to have to do. But I want you to know something. If you lost weight on your own, I'm so proud of you. If nobody ever tells you, I am proud of you, man. I could never do it. You know, more power to you, man. I'm just feeling it. I'm just in my feelings a little bit today because I got rejected from that job. But then I also remind myself, you know, lately a lot of good things has happened. Like I'm getting ready to graduate school again and I got married to a wonderful man. Um, he's very kind, very gentle, uh, loving, supporting, very sweet person. I have a very smart, beautiful daughter, very intelligent. You know, my family's all cool. You know, and it's not like I'm homeless or I have a terminal disease or something like that. So really, I'm grateful. And I had to remind myself of that today. Like, don't let this one thing throw you completely off course. And then you just go back to that other person you used to be. Sometimes you got to give yourself a time out and look in the mirror and go, you need to stop now. And if you need to do that, do it. I'll help you do it, too. You know, I'll just look in the mirror, just like in the movie. I can't think of the name. It's the Jamaicans doing the bobsledding or something like that. And he looks at the mirror with his friend and he goes, Pride! Power! I see a badass mother that don't take no crap from nobody. That movie. I'll do it with you if I have to. Let me know. I'll video chat with you and I'll make you do it. I'll do it with you. Look in the mirror and say, You need to quit. Because this is ridiculous. We are not going back to that person. We are strong. We're beautiful. We're fancy. And we're loving it. Okay? My hair's on this side. I should have did this side. We're loving it. Okay? And I hope this helps somebody because we get very discouraged easily. It, it can happen. Not everybody, but it can happen to people. And I understand that. You know, just keep yourself motivated. Do what you need to do to stay motivated. Talk to a friend. Talk to somebody. Talk to me if you want. If you have something that's bothering you or something that's been keeping you down in the dumps, put it in the comments. I will respond to you. I would love to hear about it, and I will do what I can to prep you back up because I want to listen. I think a lot of people just don't get listened to, and then that's why they do the things they do. I honestly do. If they just had somebody that truly, truly, truly cared about what's going on, because let's just be honest, there's a lot of people that don't have that. That's why there's a lot of people that do a lot of bad things because nobody wants to listen. But I listen. I want to care. I want to know. I might not ever meet you. I might not ever see you in real life. But if I can at least talk to you and make you feel better and me listen to your story, then fine. That would be great. You know, this is a supporting channel. And the channel is nothing without the audience. And that's all I really have today. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to get out of this funk. I'm going to finish this homework. I'm going to make some alfredo for my husband tonight. It's going to be a good day. Okay. Like Ice Cube. Today was a good day. That's what it's going to be. I'm not going to let it go down in the dumps. Something will come up. I know. I just got to wait for the right time. Don't give up, people. It's easy to want to give up. And I understand that because I've been there a zillion times. Just keep at it, okay? Stay strong, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.